as many of you know, Queen Nyjah did work with Babyface on his album, Girls Night Out. Now, she collabed with him on a song called Game Over. Now, Babyface went on The Breakfast Club and he spoke about how these songs came about and how each girl had a different story to tell about what was going on in her life. Uh, every girl had their own thing. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody wrote on the song. We, we actually collaborated together. So... We just walk in the studio and then I say, So, what's going on in your life? What's <laughs> going on? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you in love? You're not in love? And everybody kind of would talk about whatever's going on. So, they were saying exactly how they felt. You're like, This is how women really feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're like, You know, you might have thought it was love, but no, nah, it, it ain't. <laughs> So it was almost like a therapy session in the studio where each of these girls spoke about how they were feeling. Now, of course, I listened to Game Over with Queen, love the song, but now this makes me want to go listen to all these other songs on this album. So you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below, as well as some of the lyrics that Queen put into her track. I want to know your opinions on that. Now, let me move on to this next topic with NBA Youngboy and Jania. Now, if you guys have not been keeping up with what's been going on, it's been a lot of drama. Now, it all started with this tweet from Jania basically stating that she is a single mother and is not getting any financial help. And she stated it's amazing to see men that are real fathers. People assumed that she was shading NBA Youngboy. Now, Youngboy doesn't have an Instagram, so he went onto his producer's Instagram to write these messages to Jania, basically exposing her for a few things even stated that her boyfriend put Jania and his son out of the car so now Jania went on to Instagram today to explain everything and to say her piece after she deleted a lot of things off of her social media um let's just get straight into it so first and foremost I want to get on here and um address what happened yesterday um yeah a lot of people felt like i got ran off or um i deleted all my stuff and i'm just running from the truth or whatever when that's not the case i'm just trying to <sighs> be at peace like you know like be peaceful you know what i mean Stay on the route that I've been going, haven't been in drama, haven't been in nothing. I just been to myself. And honestly and truly, I've been quiet. But I just feel like for the most part, it was just a lot said that I personally didn't even want to be. I didn't I when I put that tweet, I really was not trying to bash nobody. If I wanted to bash people or my baby father, I could have like said, "This is what this is. This is what it is. This is what this is. This is this 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 this." I could have been done doing that. Like that wasn't my intentions at all. Like you can't bring no videos, no tweets, no nothing up of me just bashing him from nothing that he has ever done. From the time I've known him until now, you had, you cannot bring nothing up of me just bashing him. Because that's just not something that I, I do. I just don't see no point in it. I've dealt with shit. I took it to the chin. And I grew from it. Like, it's not nothing to be on here arguing about, bringing up old shit. Like, it's just irrelevant to me. The whole purpose of why we even have to communicate right now is because of our child. If it wasn't our for our child... We could have, you went that way, we, you went that way, we broke up, we're separated. If it wasn't for Casey, we wouldn't even have no communication. We didn't need to communicate. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, the main thing that really bothered me was the fact that you really got online and said, what people been saying about my child, which is the G word. And I'm not going to even place that with my child because he's not the G word. He's not. He's a boy. He's a boy. Number one, he knows he's a boy. Number two, he's three years old. That's always around his mother. 
So when he starts school, which he will be starting school this week, he'll be around other boys. And on top of that, he lives with the man. So he sees basketball. He sees working out. He sees other things. But before that, it was just me and my mama. And don't get me wrong. Control did help me out with Casey. I'm not, I'm not going to even say help me out with Casey because that's his child too. Control was in Casey's life. Don't get me wrong. When y'all saw me out and he was with his dad a lot, whatever the case may be, that's what was going on. But from the time Casey was born up until the time that y'all started seeing him with him, it was all me. I was doing that myself with the help of my supporters, of course. But it was, it was me. I was buying milk. I was buying diapers. I was doing this. I was doing that. It was all me. And y'all knew that. So before Casey could talk, and I know a lot of stuff is going to be said <laughs> that's really irrelevant to this. Like, you're a hoe, or you opt out, or you this, you that. All that is irrelevant when, it, when we're talking about a child. You get what I'm saying? All that is irrelevant. And I never once said, you're a bad dad. I never once got on here and bashed you. I never once said nothing. All I said was, us single moms, have it hard, give ourselves a pat on the back. That's all I said. That's all I said. And somebody said, oh, well, your help is a call away. And I said, no, it's not. Because it's the truth. When you're mad, you're mad. It's not nothing nobody can do to make you unbad until you're ready to be unmad. But anyways... You're saying that you've been calling me for months for KC and, you know, I'm not answering the phone or whatever the case may be. You and I both know if I was to ask KC right now, if he wants to go to your house, he will say no. You know that. Every time Casey's at your house, he's calling me or I'm calling him and we're on the phone. He's asking me, where are you coming to get me? Where you at? Ma, come get me. Where you at? Ma, come get me. You know that. It's times where Casey doesn't even call me because out of Casey's mouth, you took his iPad, but because you know that he's going to ask me to come get him. Like, come on now. Let's not get on here and pretend like that's not the case. And on top of that, when Casey comes, it's me forcing him to come. I'm actually leaving him with my child telling me that he doesn't want to be left. If we're being honest, like we're just being honest. And you, like, anything can be said, I don't care. You said that you was going to expose me, whatever. I don't care. Like, I don't care. But that's just the facts of the situation. You know what I mean? And so I never got online and said none of that. I never got online and said that when, when I tried to have him call you, you're asking for him. And as a mother, of course I'm going to feel some type of way if my child is telling me that he doesn't want to go somewhere. Of course, it's going to hurt me. When I drop him off, it does hurt me to see my baby cry. It does. And I can't say that it doesn't. And I have to just leave him and walk off or whatever the case may be. Like, I... <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> so it does hurt me. And it does hurt me that, like, sometimes I'm not able to talk to my baby when he's gone. It does hurt me. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, regardless of the fact... I never wanted to bash you. I never wanted to say that you were a bad father. I never wanted to say none of that. My baby's telling me that he doesn't want to go. So what am I supposed to do? Just put him in that position where he's sad, where he's crying, where he's telling me that he doesn't want to go with me. He wants to stay at my mom's house because he's scared I'm about to go drop him off. But that's besides the point. So even with my boyfriend... Casey doesn't feel unwanted at all when he's around us. He lives with us. He doesn't feel unwanted at all. At the end of the day, if he was to walk through this door right now, kid you not, I've been online, y'all saw it. He would run to the door before I even run to go to the door to go greet him at the door. You know what I mean? If I'm on the phone and he knows that he hears his voice, he's saying his name. You know what I mean? And it's not even, oh, he's trying to be his dad, whatever the case may be. Everybody knows their place in the situation. He's not trying to be his dad. He's not trying to be nothing but a man that's around a child that he's not about to. Just, oh, that's just my girl child. Or, oh, he's just in with me. Like, no, it's interactive. Like, we play, we joke, we all included. You get what I'm saying? And the same when his daughter come around. It's just what goes on. 
Just like I saw a comment saying, oh, I'm mad because he's around um, his girl, well, his girl and stuff like that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. She's been in the room and said something to me about Casey and we communicated about Casey with no problem. Like, <laughs> with no problem. Casey did this. Okay, I asked Casey. We communicated. That's just point blank, period. Like, there's no beef. There's no problem. And I hate that they tried to paint that narrative. But at the end of the day, like I said before, I wasn't trying to bash nobody. I'm not trying to keep nobody's child from them. But when I do take Casey, it's when I feel like, okay, he's been gone for, you know, probably a month. Because when I do let him go, he's staying for long periods of time. And y'all know this because y'all will see Casey gone for a long period of time. And guess what? That long period of time, every day he's asking me to come get him. But I, in my head, I'm thinking he needs to spend time with his dad. He has to have a relationship with his dad. He needs to be with his daddy. I want him to have a relationship with his daddy. That's all I ever fucking wanted. If I didn't want that, that day that everybody was called to go to BR to stop that, I would have da -da signed that paper too. That wasn't the case with me. I always, and like I cried on that phone and told you that day, I did not want you not to have a relationship with your child. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. That's never not what I wanted. I didn't have Casey for no money. I didn't have Casey for nothing but the fact that it was talked about. You get what I'm saying? So the fact that I, I'm i getting bashed on the internet as if I'm not a good mom. Like, I'm going to put my child in harm's way. Like, are you serious? The same girl that buys flights to bring him to you also buys flights to pick him up from you, also sends him with a full suitcase full of clothes and anything that you do is extra, that same girl that never asked you for anything, that same girl you're getting on the internet bashing, it's crazy. It's crazy, and I'm not going to lie. It is times where I do feel like if I send my baby, I'm not going to get my baby back. It is times that I feel like if I send my baby, I'm not going to get my baby back. And who wants to feel like that? Who wants to feel like I have to, because there's no child support, there's no law, laws involved. So who wants to feel like they're never going to get their child back? Nobody wants to feel like that. Like, come on now. And I did go through my time where I was running wild, out here wild, whatever the case may be. Fuck, I was 19, 20 years old doing anything that a fucking child would do. Having a child, I was a baby having a baby. I've matured and I still have room to mature. I'm not all the way to where I want to be right now. But at the end of the day, I do try. And when it comes to my child, it's war. And nobody can tell me nothing about my baby. I don't care. I don't care what you're talking about. I don't care what you, I don't care. Just because of the simple fact, that's my baby. He's my baby. I went through that pregnancy by myself. That's my baby. Of course, I'm going to feel the way that I feel about my child. Who wouldn't? So, like I said before, I didn't get on here to bash nobody. I didn't get on here to do all of that. I don't want, I don't want no problems. If it was able, if, if it was all peaches and cream, that's great. If Casey was like that, he wanted to go. Matter of fact, he did say that he missed you. He did. And what I do, I had him call you on your birthday. You didn't answer the phone, nor did you text back. I text your people and said that he wants to see you. And one of your people texted me back and said, you can't do nothing but keep trying. That, those are facts. But since you're an O, and when you got on the phone with him that one day, remember? And the person that put you on the phone with him said, you hung up on your baby? And then after that, it was no communication. He said, hey, daddy. He said, hey, daddy. And I'm not going to lie, that shit do fuck with me because that's my child. You know what I mean? And I don't know why he, why Casey feels the way that he does. Of course he tells me story. Of course I know what goes on in that house. Of course I know. And I don't ask. I promise to God I don't ask because I really don't care. But when my child is telling me stories and I'm like, damn, for real? Damn. Of course I'm like, okay, well, that's probably why he feels the way that he feels. You know what I mean? But is that my place to get on here and tell your business? Or tell people this. That's not my place. So. 
that's all I gotta say. Um, and yeah, I know it's probably gonna go over people's head, and I really don't care. All I want is the best for my child. Um, that's it, that's all. Like I said before, I'm not the best parent. Who the fuck is the best parent? There's no rule book on how to be a mom. There's no rule book on how to be a dad. You can't do nothing but try. And that's all I'm doing. I'm trying. Just trying to make sure that my baby is okay. Because if that wasn't the case, I guarantee you Casey wouldn't be saying, my mom's the best mom. Casey wouldn't be saying, you're my best friend. Casey wouldn't be saying, you're the best. Casey wouldn't be saying that. Casey would not be saying that. If I wasn't who I say I am. It's like, he would not be saying that. So... With that being said, it is what it is. And whatever comes behind it, comes behind it. And, yeah.